you, you came oh, for so so people understand fifth in the hundred fly. The East Germans come first, second, and third. You come yeah. fifth. So you, you pretty much went. <laughs> oh, I'm a bit of artistic license here, but you pretty much went and knocked on Jacques Rog's door. This is the president of the IOC at the time. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I, I love was, it. I'm, I love this. <laughs> I was in holiday. I was on holidays in Europe and um uh I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go and see Jacques Rog and just see what he can do for me, you know. So I went to the headquarters in Lausanne and and asked if I could see him. And she looked at me as I was stupid, like you just can't waltz in here and you know, talk to the president of the IOC. I think she's so got I'm a making... point, Lisa. I think she's <laughs> got a point, to be fair. <laughs> no, like, it's not like you're just making a hair appointment. Anyway, <laughs> I think she I think she thought she'd put me off and told me that um, he wouldn't be back for three weeks. So I said, okay, we'll make that appointment. I'll come back in three weeks. So what happened was the night before I was to meet him, I didn't know, but there was a medical conference on in Lausanne. We could not find a hotel room anywhere we were driving around in a taxi looking at parks trying to find one with a park bench because that's where i was going to stay um but rightly or wrongly i was going to see him but we we ended up finding a room it was 500 euros Ooh. for the room and we only slept there for about five hours before we had to get up because it was so late trying to find a room so it was very expensive i was very late um but i did get to see him and he, oh, look, he was okay, but he was not going to budge. Because I kept saying to him, you know, what's your legacy going to be as mm. president of the IOC? And he kept saying to me, you're very persistent, Lisa. It's like, yeah, well, you know, you just gave me free tickets to the, um, the Olympic Museum down the road. We went there yesterday <laughs> and you gave a guy who, you know, you took his medal off him in 1912. And in 1984, you gave it back to his family. Mm. So you've done it once, you can do it again. And I had already done all the work. There's only 73 female swimmers worldwide that would need medals given back to. So I don't know, it's kind of ongoing, but no one can seem to, no one can seem to do it, but it's a good story. And yes. you know what? I actually think, I actually think a movie could be made from all of that because it's an incredible story, the East German story. So Hey guys, Howie here. Thank you so much for watching the Howie Games YouTube channel. We appreciate your support. Now, if you want to hear the full podcast, you can just click on the link directly below. If you want to subscribe to the YouTube channel, which would be fantastic, bang, click right there. And if you want to see more clips, highlights, and updates from the Howie Games, just go that way. Thanks so much. As always, take it easy and peace and love.